All right, there's one thing I have to tell you. I moved the camera here. On the Atlas Craftsman lathe, uh, we have a, a screw in here and a dial that when we turn it in, uh, let's say for instance 10 thousandths, the tool will actually travel in 10 thousandths of an inch. But in fact then that means it will take 20 thousandths off of the work because in effect it's taking 10 thousandths off of each side. Now that isn't true on my clausing lathe and some other lathes where if you, uh, I, which I call a direct reading dial, where if you uh, turn the cross feed in ten thousands, it actually will remove ten thousands. Now if you're not sure uh, about your lathe, take some trial cuts or put a dial indicator on there to determine what the real travel is in comparison to what you're uh, reading on your uh, dial on the collar right here. That's very important. The diameter of the red portion now is 905 thousandths and we're going to take it down to 800 thousandths and we'll take that in several passes. Now uh, when you're first roughing something it's alright to use a calipers on it if you want uh, to take a, a rough dimension and you can do that uh, with the uh, machine running and you'll feel a little bit of a drag on there when you get the right uh, fit. So we'll do that now. Okay. And uh, then you would of course have to use this in conjunction with a ruler. I bought this at an auction. Look at how somebody got that caught in a machine. And it wasn't me. I like to take a trial cut. So uh, I'm going to turn the machine on and take a pass. It'll just take the die off and then we'll take another reading. Then we know exactly where we're at and we can set our uh, collar down here with the graduations on to zero. So let's take that cut. Feeding in the cross feed until it starts to take a little bit off. And I just uh, engage the half nut lever and it is feeding toward the headstock. Now when that cut is complete, I'm going to take a measurement. Remember, never take a measurement with a micrometer when the machine is in motion. Disengage, turn off the machine, and our reading is uh, 890. So let's take off 50 thousandths. Now we're going to uh, zero out the collar. I know that's not on camera, but I zeroed out the collar on the crossfeed, and I'm going to move it in 25 thousandths, which should take off 50. Let's take that cut. As you get close to your dimension, you should take a finer and finer cut, so a better finish and uh, in case the work is flexing slightly. I guess between centers to prevent flexing. Okay. Take uh, another 20 off and let's see what happens. We've got uh, about 820 thousandths, so I'm going to take two more passes. I'm going to feed it in I'm not talking too much, I'm thinking.
Okay, ten thousandths left. I'm going to stop the camera momentarily. As I get close to my dimension, I take a, a short cut. I stop the machine and I measure it. If you're on or near your last pass, this may be helpful to you. Then I'll measure it and I'm uh, within four thousandths of the eight hundred thousandths. So I'm going to feed in just a couple thousandths and I'm going to complete the cut. And, oh, there we are. We're, we're right on. The reason I'm using this uh, digital micrometer is that it shows up on the camera. Uh, I do know how to read a regular one. Take a look at my other videos on how to read a micrometer. So there we have uh, uh, come to our final dimension. Now, if you need to leave just a little bit of material left uh, to polish it or to sand it or to file it or whatever you're going to do, you can do that. But I, I did take this right down to... Uh, the, the final dimension, which was 800 thousandths. All right, that's how to turn to a diameter. You may need to practice that a little bit and try it with different materials, and uh, this is a fundamental that you need to master. Hope this was helpful. So long, this is Tubal Kane.